Batman. I've just seen a ghost. We need to talk. Out of sight. Let's go to a tavern cellar. Yes. And it's Lasko! He's back! He said I've made good for the wrongs I'd done him, but that I've still plenty of sins to atone for. He said there are helpless innocents that need saving, and that an old dog named Scrooge is the key to it all. I'm to avoid Lasko's grim fate. We've got to get to Scrooge's mansion on the Isle of Dogs in Marleybone. Let's go. Place to be sure, but just what are we doing here? How am I supposed to know? Lasco said to come here, nothing more. Ratbeard, you're late. I hope you be not too late. Hear me well. This be the home of Ebenezer Scrooge, one of the wealthiest dogs in all Marleybone. All this wealth was born of the toil of others, never fairly rewarded. Any family and friend Scrooge knew he drove away long ago. And now old Scrooge goes too far. The pain of old heartbreaks and the guilt of past sins have set him on a course to hurt the innocent. Ratbeard, I charge ye, help Scrooge find his conscience and save them his scorn would ruin. Take you the guise of a ghost and hot. Now wait a minute, you're the ghost. Why don't ye hot him? I can only haunt them that wrong me, or that I have wronged. In this matter, I must work through you. So be it. What do you need him to do? Give me five minutes with him, and I'll have our Mr. Scrooge buying goose dinners for the poor. No! Threats will do no good. Scrooge must have a change of heart. He must want to do good. For goodness sake, you must convince him. Go upstairs to Scrooge's bedchamber and tell him ye be the ghost of days gone past. Tell him he should be ashamed for old Boz. Who's old Boz? Just do it! If you fail, little children will suffer hardships untold, and you will spend eternity as a helpless ghost! Remember, old Boz! Of all the... I won't do it! I can't! It's foolishness! Imagine me playing it being a ghost! What the blazes am I gonna say to convince some old parch to change his ways? You lout! Did you not hear what Lasko said? Little children are gonna suffer. I'll do it. Let's go up there. Uh, Scrooge! Scrooge! <laughs> Who's there? Listen, Ebenezer Scrooge. I am, uh, the ghost. The ghost of days gone past. You have done a great wrong, Ebenezer Scrooge. Change your ways. What's this? A ghost? You think to scare Ebenezer Scrooge? Bah! Humbug! I've no fear of you, spirit! Be gone and let me sleep! No! Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself! Change your heart before it's too late! What nonsense is this? Change my heart? Never! My heart was hardened by a hard world of hard truths! Those truths have bought me all I have. Brilliant. 
Now what? Hush, Ebenezer Scrooge. It's almost too late for you. Remember old balls. Uh, old balls? Is that what this is about, old balls? You seek to humiliate me with the ancient past. Bah, humbug. Old balls is getting what it deserves. Why, but for Duckburg Stark, I'd never seen old balls at all. Duckburg, confound and curse that name. My first investment and my last mistake. Old balls, Duckburg, I'll have no more hateful names from my past brought up this evening. Get out. Well, that didn't work. What a Duckburg. It must be a clue. Scrooge said Duckburg was an investment. Maybe there is some record of it in Scrooge's office. Scrooge is a businessman. He must keep good books. We'll find Duckburg in them, I'll warrant. Aha! Uh -huh. I have here a certificate for shares in Duckburg Mineral Enterprises. They were purchased long ago, but never sold. And here's Old Boz. Old Boz isn't a person, it's a place, an orphanage. Those must be the little innocents Lass goes on about. According to this, Scrooge is going to purchase Old Boz and condemn it. This is what we've got to get Scrooge to change his mind about. But what does it all mean? And how the blazes can we use it to get Scrooge to change his ways? There is a signature many places in the ledgers. Cratchit. He must be Scrooge's accountant. Perhaps he can tell us more. You don't sing the sorts, Mr. Scrooge would hire. You mean to teach him compassion? I have little hope, but will help you if I can. Duckburg, yes, Mr. Scrooge's first investment. He was about your age, Captain. Stock speculation, it failed miserably. Scrooge's father lost everything, his savings, his business, even his home. He left Ebenezer in the care of the old Bars orphanage. Which Scrooge means to tear down. Covering up his old guilt, eh? Scrooge betrayed his pappy. Maybe that's what's known at him. Let's get to old ball. Maybe they'll know where Scrooge's father ended up. see we are a humble enterprise barely able to see to the needs of our poor charges and now we're to be turned out into the street what's that Ebenezer Scrooge yes I recall the case placed here as a young man he stayed until he was of age Scrooge's father I have no record of him not even a name Scrooge did have one frequent visitor old Joe by name let me see aha Old Joe listed his home address as a tenement here in Docktown. He'll know more. Let's go and find him. Sent you. Who was that? Scrooge? That was a long time ago. I've got other troubles now, stranger. Indeed you do, old fellow. Indeed you do. You owe the underdog a debt. And if you can't pay, well then, you'll pay. Lads! Oh! <laughs> 
do. I'm on it. I cannot repay you for all that you've done. You asked about Scrooge? I was a helper at old Silas's carpentry shop. That was so long ago. A shame how all that turned out. Master Silas, he forbade young Ebenezer to make any investments. But Ebenezer did anyway. He got swindled. Poor Master Ebenezer. He worshipped his old dad, he did. He felt so bad about losing that money. He swore he'd never lose money again. I see how it is. Scrooge is feeling guilty. Let's go tell him his father would be ashamed. That'll turn him around. I'll do the hunting this time. What's this? What the? I be the ghost of days gone. Present. Yeah, I'm here to tell you to change your ways. Your dear father, old Silas Scrooge, what would he think of you? My father? After what he did to me, you dare invoke his name? Humbug! What did he ever do for me but leave me in that horrible place? I have no regrets, none. What was my father but a failure? He taught me nothing. I made my own fortune in Mushu. Orman Barks. Barks was all the father I needed. He taught me how to be successful. He was more of a father to me than old Silas Scrooge ever was. Well, that didn't work. Maybe this Mr. Barks can help us. To Mushu then, Captain. Aye. Scrooge made his fortune trading spices. His barks can't be too hard to find. It isn't the hero of the tea trade. What can I do for you, Captain? Orman Barks. He passed away some time ago, but his son Carl still runs the family business. You'll find him in the trade legation close to the docks. Do you have any news of the war? Business with the Box Trading Company? I'm afraid Mr. Box is not here. He's touring our spice farms in Dinho Village. Dinho? That's in Subara, the place they call the Ravage Valley. It's a war zone. Box might be in trouble. with the Amber Horde, but we made our way clear of them when the pigs came. Ninja pigs. They took Mr. Barks inside the tower. You've got to save him if you can.
Ninja Pigs. It has been too long to battle. They must have box upstairs. Let's go. Fiends, prepare to face the might of El Toro! This is it. Ah! <laughs> 
Short command. I'm going to do that, Captain. All ready, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Show. Thank goodness you came along. Please get me back to the trade legation at Hamamitsu. <laughs> Ebenezer and my father were close friends for years until that business with old Silas. The distance arose between them after that. You see, Ebenezer was working with us here in Hamamitsu when one day Silas Scrooge appeared at our door, penniless and sick. Silas begged his son for help, but Ebenezer rebuffed him. He refused to buy back his childhood, he said, and sent Silas on his way. My father was offended. He let Ebenezer set up his own firm, and our two companies work together to this day, but we've not been close. Old Silas? I took pity on him, and... Made sure he found his way to young Mr. Hollywell. I can say no more. It's not my place. Who's this Hollywell? We need to find out. Maybe we can get Scrooge to tell us. I and I growing tired of this game. I will be the ghost this time. You want a proper haunting? Ask the dead. The 
Ebenezer Scrooge. Wake. This be your last chance. What? Ah! Wh what is this? Will this nightmare never end? Who are you? I and I be the ghost of the days gone yet to come. Look to the future in what will happen when the shadow finally falls on you. When you be dead and gone, who will remember you? You think Hollywell will think of you happily? Will anyone? Will they indeed? No, I think not. And poor Hollowell. Wait! First you spirits taunt me with my failure, then my father, and now Hollowell? Humbug! What has my nephew to do with anything? You think I want Hollowell's admiration? Bah! What did he ever do but squander his opportunities? Hollowell wasted his education, spurned the job I gave him, and ran off to... Uh, flotsam! Yes, flotsam! The perfect place for a piece of refuse. Hollowell is welcome to Flotsam, and every pirate in it. So, third ghost, I've passed your test. My heart remains strong. Go, and don't come back! Hollywell's in Flotsam, eh? Maybe old Silas is still with him. I bet I know who can find him. Well, if it isn't my favorite wayward pirate, what brings you to my tavern this fine day? Hollowell? Sure I know him. In fact, I'm his landlord. He leases a fine cabin not far from here. My uncle sent you, I suppose? If so, save your breath. I have nothing to say to him. You want to help Uncle Ebenezer? A noble aim, though I don't know how you can. I'd once hoped to reunite my uncle with Silas, but it's too late now. Old Silas loved his son to the very end. He wrote a letter to Ebenezer on his deathbed, but I... The letter! That's it! It will thaw Uncle's heart. Oh, but there's a problem. Ratfink, a vile pirate, took a sea chest from me a long time ago. The letter was in it. You'll have to get it back.
Chest. Let's get it back to Hollywell. My sea chest! Thank you, pirate. Let me see. The letter's still in it! Here, deliver this to my uncle. If anything can warm his icy heart, this can. Good luck. Right! Enough ghosts! Time we finish this. Who's there? Another spirit? Wait! I know your faces. So, my ghosts are revealed as nothing but pranksters, eh? You're hunting me over, Scrooge. Now we're nothing but couriers come to deliver this. It's important. A letter? What could be so important at this hour? Read it. Oh, very well. My dear Ebenezer, I hope this letter finds you well. I want you to know that I have watched your career from afar. And I am proud of you. The biggest regret of my life is that I did not take you with me when I had to leave Marleybone. I thought old Boz would take better care of you. Finally, I forgive you your harsh words in Mushu. I forgive you for losing our savings. I love you, my son, and wish you happiness. Proud? Of me? Forgiven after all these years? I, I never knew how empty was my heart until it was filled. I don't know what to do! I am as light as a feather! I am as happy as an angel! I am as merry as a schoolboy! Glorious! Glorious! You there, rat! Go to old boss and tell them they are saved! Tell them they shall not be sold! Ha! With pleasure! Did? Oh, children, we're saved! Oh, this is wonderful news! Aye, so be ye happy, and whatnot. 
Good morrow, all. I know I sent my messengers, but I decided I have more good news. Old Boz shall be renovated and improved until every fitting and fixture in it is as fine as my own house. Finer. Hurrah! Heaven bless us, every one. Rapid. It is done, and done well. Twas the spirit of Silas Scrooge who sent me looking for you. He sends his thanks. Does he? He might have told you about the letter and saved us some trouble. You think this was for the sole benefit of Mr. Scrooge? Or the orphans? I hope you've learned something about forgiveness. I have. Ratbeard, I thanked you for avenging me. But I never truly forgave you. Until now. I... I don't know what to say. Glorious! Captain, let's get to a tavern cellar and celebrate! Mr. Scrooge's appreciation. Can you believe it? You know, I could get used to doing good deeds. Ah, what am I saying? Ha ha ha! Captain, what now? 